Hey everyone, it's Jordan here from My Tummy Tantrum. Thanks for joining us for another video blog. Uh, FMT update number two. I've just completed my fifth and my sixth um, transplants over the weekend. Uh, so I started at Easter, I did four over Easter. I uh, had a four day break and I've done a, another two, which takes a number to, uh, the total number to six. Um, things are going pretty good. Um, I definitely feel like the bacteria, whatever I'm getting from my donor is potent and it's um, doing a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I can feel that it's moved up my left side of my colon and it's now kind of up in the small bowel, um, kind of weaving its magic. Um, I can feel stuff moving along, a bit of cramping, a bit of bubbling, a bit of gas. Um, and then when I go to the toilet, I'm releasing like twice as much as normal. Um, so I think that's pretty good signs. Um, the bad thing has been I've been getting a steady stream of die-off symptoms still, on and off. A couple of days there I felt pretty good and then um, came back again. Um, mucus um, coming up my chest and feels like it's coming out my glands again. Um, like clear, white, a little bit sticky mucus. Um, and so then last night I decided that I'd um, try my first, um, uh, what do you call it, um, castor oil heat pack on my lung area. Oh, I did it on my back. Um, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this heat that's coming from my back area. Um, so I read, did a bit of reading and I read up about the heat packs. Um, so I did one with castor oil and sesame oil. Um, put that on for about half an hour with a heat pack over the top and then it didn't seem to do too much but then today when I've gone running uh, I did a decent sized run today and um, the whole way I was just coughing up this um, that same mucus that I'm talking about uh, every minute or so I need to spit it out and yeah ended up having to kind of stop my um, walk halfway through um, and take a bit of a breather and start again so um, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Um, it's a little bit like the old symptoms that I got in the very early days, but um, not to the same degree. Um, I had it really bad back then. Um, so it's kind of the same thing, but just a lot less of it, um, smaller amounts. Um, so there's been that going on. Um, I've been sneezing a little bit. I'm almost like making myself allergic, I reckon. I'm allergic to whatever's going on, like the toxins or whatever pushing out of my body. <laughs> I even made my dad sick. I think my dad, my dad's complaining that he got sick from me. <laughs> he probably did. Um, yeah, maybe it was the, I don't know, the spores or whatever. I think a lot of people talk about um, that stage where they go through and um, they say everyone's allergic to me and all that. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty true. I think it's when the um, possibly the yeast um, spores or whatever push out the skin um, and then, yeah, it, I don't know, they get up people's noses and they um, they make you sneeze and they make you allergic to whatever's going on. Um, so there's been that going on as well. Um, I spoke to my friend who also had done FMT and cured her candida. Um, she had a really bad case of candida and cystic acne. Um, so she did the FMT and cleared all that up and she's really healthy now. Um, and she said that she also got the, um, the white um, fungal infection on her back that I was talking about last time on the video. Um, and then thinking about it, that actually first showed up when I had started, um, sorry, not when I started, but I was in the middle of the nystadin and the lufeneron, the antifungal. So um, I reckon there's definitely candida up in my lungs. Uh, I get excessive heat up there um, it wouldn't surprise me I mean I've seen where the mucus and the candida seems to get I mean at my worst it was all through me up in my glands um, it's, it was in the blood it's everywhere so I, I can't see any reason why it couldn't get up in the lungs um, yeah I'd be interested to see if there's other people who complain of the um, the back heat that pushes up their back um, I'm pretty sure I don't think it's from my my stomach or my intestines where the heat's coming from I'm pretty sure it's from the lungs um, so yeah I'm going to continue to do the FMT for sure um, yeah just by my early experiences um, I think you're going to need a lot of them to get the job done um, if 
you're thinking about um, spending all that money to go to the clinic, um, to go to see Dr. Barodi in Sydney, um, I think there's another guy, Shepherd in Florida, um, I'd consider doing maybe a lot of um, detoxing before and colonics and that kind of thing to make sure it's going to do its job. I just think our situation, um, while it's not like as serious as you know what people would say ulcerative colitis is or anything like that i think our infection is just as bad and it's um it's systemic it's all through us um yeah to get up and i think to take say if you think you're going to take three or four um transplants and it's going to go all the way up there and clean everything out and get rid of all the bad stuff and repopulate it that quickly i don't know maybe but i don't know it just doesn't seem like that from my early experiences um trying it at home so um yeah i mean if you're going to do it look into it but um plan ahead i reckon so you don't waste your money um it's not cheap i think sydney to get to sydney if i was to do um a week or 10 day transfusions over there it's going to cost me seven grand with flights and accommodation you'll be looking at ten thousand dollars so um if you're going to do it you want to kind of get it right um yeah i think yeah there's some serious stuff going on in our bodies and you know, as soon as I forget, uh, I do something like this and then I remember, you know, how sick my body really is and you see all the reactions that go on and the die off and the sneezing and the mucus and that kind of thing. So, um, good signs. I'm sticking with it. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good in between the periods where I, um, have the die off and that I'm feeling pretty positive and pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to keep going with it. Um, I'm back to work soon. I've been on holidays uh, over this period. So, um, yeah, it might be a bit trickier to kind of line up with my donor and um, get our kind of times matching up. But um, I should be able to do a couple, fit in a couple here and there. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted how it's all going. Um, yeah, and I hope everyone else is going well. If there's anyone else doing FMT right now, I'd love to um, compare notes with you and see how it's going. Um, and just quickly, my friend who's doing um, the FMT at the moment too, using the same donor as me, um, she seems to have gotten over the really bad die-off that she got on her first couple of transplants. So she's done a couple more now um, and seems to be improving. So that's good signs as well. Uh, so yeah, so I'll keep you posted. Um, should have another video got, uh, for you guys in a couple of days. Uh, yeah, take it easy. See ya.